Welcome to another Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle S-Base Tech Reference Series. Today we're going to talk about using the is ancestor function specifically for checking for descendants. So how are we going to use is ancestor to get descendants? So in calc formulas, you could use the at descendants function or is descendant type of function, but there's no direct equivalent in MDX. Instead, we use the is ancestors function. It may sound a little bit confusing. How can we get descendants looking at ancestors? It's because the order of the members in the statement makes a difference. So for example, if I say is ancestor stores current member great buys, so if the current member is an ancestor of great buys, that does not equal is ancestor great buys stores dot current member. I would say if great buys is an ancestor of the current member. So let's look at a simple example. In the first case, I'm going to create a member called ancestor test ancestor and use that first formula that I had created. Next, I'm going to create another member called ancestor test descendants and use that second formula. When I retrieve the data, you'll notice that in my ancestor test ancestor, great buys and its children are a two, but stores is a one. In my descendants, the stores underneath great buys are a one, great buys is a two, and so is stores. So it's basically reversed the logic here. So it's a very simple way to get a test for doing whether or not something is an ancestor or a descendant of an item.